remarkable young woman from Clarenville who has science on the mind. Amy Short, Mackenzie Dove, and Hannah Tilly are grade 11 and 12 students at Clarenville High who ventured into the abyss, so to speak. They're international award-winning ROV builders and operators in their high school category. An ROV is a remote-operated vehicle. These girls have built their own from scratch, but today, a treat using real live working ROVs, ones used in marine science and technology. Yeah, it was really a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. Beats the classroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a program under the guidance of mentor Captain Jan Negrin and his ship, the Coastal Explorer, with equipment funding from the Hebron Project, Exxon. Students from Terra Nova and Clarenville High are getting their hands wet and gaining knowledge and interest of mapping the seabed floor. Jeff Parker of ExxonMobil is gaining interest in possible new hires down the road with the keen marine technology prodigies here today. I think the, the way we can have this hands-on learning experience to really spark that interest in all the young girls and boys in the province is really what this program's all about. Each of these young women took a turn at the helm of the Seabot, each helping to raise their own specimen starfish and a piece of seaweed, controlling this tiny robot yeah. hundreds of feet below the surface is yeah. not nearly as easy as it might look. It was an amazing experience. We're used to, we got to go out on the boat and put an actual ROV in the ocean and get to drive it around, and then we actually picked up a sample of seaweed and a starfish. It was really amazing. Yeah, it's a lot different than our ROV that we had built at our school, actually. So, um, it's pretty interesting to see different ROVs and how they change based on what they're doing and who built them, you know, things like that. And it's really cool to control their ROV compared to our ROV because the controls and everything are very different and it's just an amazing point of view for everyone. The three young women mm -hmm. who took part in the exercise today have all had a number of ideas of what they want to be when they grow up, but today's exercise has maybe made them narrow in on marine sciences. In Holyrood, Jody Cook. NTV News. Ah, pretty good. That's good. Uh -huh.